while we are discussing limits and greatest linear function, so I'll as well take up this question, which is limit extends to zero. Greatest linear function, so this box in this example represents the greatest linear function. 100x upon sin x plus 99 sin x upon x. So I need to find the value of this limit. So I know that limit sin x upon x is one. So I cannot take this limit inside because I know that if I have this limit, which is limit x tends to a f of gx, then I can take this limit inside of this function only when this function f is continuous at ga. If the function fx is continuous at ga, then I can take this limit inside. Otherwise, in that case, these two expressions, they won't be equal. So when I look at this, if I take this limit inside, I'll get x upon sin x is 1, which is 100. Now at integral points, greatest integral function of x, they are discontinuous. So I cannot take this limit inside the greatest integral function. So what do we do in this case? So in this case, we know that, suppose I take a small positive real number. So using calculus inequality, I know that sin x is always less than x. So here I can write sin x upon x is always less than 1. So if I multiply it with 99, so 99 sin x upon x is less than 99. If I take greatest linear function, then because it is less than 99, so this value will be simply 98. Now, what about the other expression? Now, when sin x is less than x, then x upon sin x is greater than 1. So, if I multiply it with 100, so 100x upon sin x is greater than 100. So, now if I take greatest linear function again, So there'll be so some number which is greater than 100. So this is simply 100. So if I'll add them both up, so answer to this question will be 98 plus 100, there'll be 198. Now this question, one thing that I also need to note is, we know that limit x tends to zero, sin x upon x is simply one. So sin x upon x is less than one, when x tends to 0, sin x upon x is not 1, but it is nearly 1. That is, it is just less than 1. So in this case, I have assumed that this value. So in this case, I know that this value will be greater than 98. In the same way, this value will be less than 101. And that is the reason I could write greatest integer function of this function as 98 and greater function of this function as 100. So that is how we have got this answer as 198. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist, and select the topic you wish to study.